Hi, I'm Marcella Moss. I'm the director of the Cellular Immunotherapy Program at the Mass General Cancer Center. I'm also an associate professor at Harvard Medical School. I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the innovations in cell therapy that we've been doing at MGH. So our focus is to invent novel, multi-targeted, fit-for-purpose CAR T-cells. We all know now that CAR T-cells targeting single proteins are highly effective in B-cell malignancies, but there's an urgent need for new targets to be used alone and in combination. These can be used to either avoid or treat relapse in patients with B-cell malignancies, and more importantly, we also need to leverage the power of CAR T-cells for additional cancers, including solid tumors. What we can do at MGH is to have rapid innovation and preclinical testing of new CAR T-cells. Our approach will accelerate bench-to-bedside proof of concept. We design fit-for-purpose CAR T-cells, and I'm going to talk to you briefly about our three lead programs. First, we recognize an unmet need for patients with T-cell lymphoma, CD19-negative relapsed B-cell lymphoma, and also acute myeloid leukemia. We designed a CAR T-cell targeting CD37 after identifying CD37 as a potential target for these populations. We now have an open clinical trial using CAR37 in patients with relapsed or refractory CD37 positive malignancies. Our next program is called TRIPRIL. Here we've noted that BCMA-targeted CAR T-cells induce high response rates but have suboptimal durability in patients with multiple myeloma due to either loss of BCMA on the tumor cells or loss of CAR T-cells due to rejection of non-human sequences. Our approach was to engineer a high-affinity binder that targets BCMA and a related molecule, TASI, using all human sequences to promote persistence. In solid tumors, we took a different approach and we started with glioblastoma. Glioblastoma is heterogeneous. It's infiltrated by an immunosuppressive tumor microenvironment, including, CAR regulatory, including T regulatory cells, and CAR T cells traffic suboptimally into the brain parenchyma. Our approach was to generate a dual targeting local delivery system to have CAR T cells secrete a T cell engager, targeting the undruggable antigen EGFR and turning T regs into killers. Each new construct has intellectual property filings behind it, and we enable this IP in vitro, in vivo, and with clinical data. And so overall, we generate composition of matter and high value IP. These are some examples of our publications. I'm gonna walk you through some of the preclinical data in each of the three lead programs that we just discussed. In anti-CD37 CAR T cells, we were able to demonstrate that CAR37 is able to induce responses in T cell lymphomas in vitro and in xenograft models. In multiple myeloma, we were able to design a trimeric, uh, April-based chimeric antigen receptor targeting BCMA and TASI. And what we showed in xenograft models was that we could target both multiple myeloma that was BCMA positive, in other words, upfront disease, and also induce responses in mice bearing BCMA negative multiple myeloma. In glioblastoma, we used intracranial administration of uh, brain tumor cells and also intraventricular administration of our CAR T cells secreting bite molecules. Um, and we were able to show that this dual uh, targeting approach was able to induce responses in mice uh, bearing glioblastoma. In the case of CAR 37, we've already entered the clinic and our first patient with T cell lymphoma was able to have a complete response uh, after a single infusion of CAR 37 cells. MGH is now a globally recognized node in a network analysis that was published in Nature Biotechnology of the patent landscape in CAR T cells. In our first five years here, we have filed IP on 14 patent families and we have 26 patent publications. Our translational approach leverages our robust platform manufacturing process. We have access to three GMP facilities to do vector manufacturing and three different GMP facilities for cell manufacturing. We have generated and optimized a short seven-day clinical manufacturing process, and we've already validated this process with multiple products and several disease indications. Each of these uh, indications requires only minimal adjustment in the manufacturing process and release criteria among the products. I'm showing you here on the right a drug product that was manufactured using our process, indicating robust uh, transduction efficiency and manufacturing uh, that was presented by my colleague, Dr. Pergault, uh, at ASH uh, 2020. To summarize, we've built a strong clinical program in cellular therapy at MGH and also have uh, established uh, clinical expertise with this patient population. 
We've now treated over 400 patients with CAR T cells at MGH. About two thirds of these have been in protocol and a third of them with commercial products. In other words, TISA cell and AXI cell. We have 40 clinical trials that are open or in queue today um, that are in process for patients. We've also leveraged our biobanking protocol to allow collection of samples. Uh, we've uh, enrolled over 162 patients. This protocol uh, will allow us to identify attributes of patients and biomarkers associated with response and with T-cell fitness, exhaustion, and resistance. Overall, we've built a strong pipeline of new CAR T-cells targeting different antigens across multiple indications, but leveraging a common platform. We've identified new targets such as CAR-37, and we have an open clinical trial in BNT cell lymphoma. We've also generated new CARs that are targeting novel antigens alone and in combination, such as in multiple myeloma uh, with BCMA TASI, as I've shown you, and also in B cell lymphoma with CD79B and CD19, which I didn't have time to discuss in more detail today. We've also uh, discussed our multi-targeted uh, platform that also redirects uh, uh, regulatory T cells in the tumor microenvironment, and we're leveraging this platform first in glioblastoma. We also have designed CARs targeting uh, uh, different diseases by having an enhanced safety mechanism using lenalidomide degradable CARs, and we are now pursuing CAR T cells that are gene edited to enhance their potency in solid tumors. We have a talented bench to bedside translational team. We have innovative scientific talent drawing from the trainees and students at Harvard and MIT and bringing them into our laboratories. We have a system for generating robust intellectual property and their appropriate filings. We have a state-of-the-art regulatory team to enable rapid translation and clinical investigators and a study team uh, that are experienced now in administering and uh, taking care of patients getting these gene-modified cell therapies. We also draw from a robust patient population in the entire MGB system. Uh, which is important particularly for doing early phase studies in patients with relatively rare diseases. What's important about this field to remember is that early phase one data yields not only safety information, but also efficacy data. And so even with relatively few patients, we're able to see large effect sizes. Our overall goal is to enable development beyond phase one by partnering with biotech or pharma companies to be able to eventually commercialize and obtain FDA approvals for novel CAR T cells that could benefit patients. Thank you very much for your attention and I'm happy to take questions.